Good morning, Niskuna High School, live from our TV studio. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. Here are the morning announcements. The following students need to report to the nurse at this time to complete their hearing test. Tim Smith, Tom Engel, Rhiannon Gaylord, Ben Gotsman, Max Hooper, and Jad Jacobs. Attention all students interested in playing freshman baseball. There will be a meeting Wednesday, March 11th. You should come to the Old Cap at 3 o'clock after school. See Coach Fury if you cannot attend this meeting. There will be an informational meeting for anyone who is a potential National Honor Society candidate. That meeting will be Monday after school in room E-292. And some good news about our Niskayuna students. Congratulations to Megan Stevenson, who won the state-level competition of the Daughters of American Revolution Good Citizen Award. And to senior Lauren Litz, who won the New York State Zone Level of the American Legion Orat Oratical, Oratical Competition. Sorry, Lauren, great job. And congratulations to NISC Unit Senior Garrett Whitley as he has recently received a National Merit Scholarship. Great job, Garrett. And now let's turn it over to our student anchors. Thanks, Prince Morkut. Good morning, NISC Unit. Today is Friday, the 6th of March. I'm Jake. And I'm Guile. Here's the latest news from around the school. It's time for Job Jive again. MCs this year will be Will Moore and Robert Kosick. Okay, let's switch over to our live feed in the Media Center and see what's going on with Job Jive. Roll the clip, Dave. I saw a really neat poster advertising for Java Jive the other day. Really? What did it say? It said that anyone who wants to can perform a work of acoustic music or poetry live in front of their friends. When is it? April 24th at 7 p.m. in the new CAF. Hmm. Maybe I'll sign up. I could write a poem. Nay, an epic. People will remember it for the ages to come. Well, submissions are due Wednesday. Maybe I'll just write a haiku then. That sounds good. Hmm. Thanks, guys. So again, Java Jive will be held on April 24th, but your submission forms are due to the English Resource Room Wednesday. In sports news, anyone interested in outdoor track, your gray cards are due today to the nurse's office. And if you are on the indoor track team, please return your uniforms to Coach Duraco as soon as possible. Auditions are completed for drama clubs Arsenic and Old Lace. This play tells the story of Mortimer Brewster and his two elderly crazy killer aunts. The cast has been selected and rehearsals are underway. Performances are April 30th through May 2nd for this black comedy, Arsenic and Old Lace. Stay tuned to Disky News for updates. Also, Drama Club will hold a bake sale Wednesday the 11th during Gall Lunch Mods. The NISC Art Gallery is celebrating its 25th year here at the high school. And to celebrate this anniversary, the Art Department has a call-up for entries out to any NISC unit grad from 1990 to 2014, working in an art field or attending college for the arts. The entries submitted to this exhibition will be juried and used in the, ah, in the display titled NISC Art Get Through Silver in the gallery. The submission deadline is March 9th, and the exhibition will begin later this month. So if you have a sibling who graduated from NISC and is working in an art type job or studying art in college and wants to submit, please talk to your art teacher. Also in art news, congratulations to the following video students. Alta Fox, Owen Goldstaff, Mateen Osasik, sorry if I said that wrong, James Azaretti, and Jacob Wick. These five students of Mr. Haneke will have their video screened at the People's Pixel Project in Glens Falls later this month. Of the 18 videos selected for this year's People's Pixel Project, seven are from Niskuna. Way to go. As you may know, Nikos Asmakopoulos won a, the school-wide Shakespeare recitation back in February. Nikos is now going to represent Niskuna High School at Russell Sage College Theater Institute in Troy on Sunday at the Regional Shakespeare Recital. This combination, competition is a nationwide event held every year and is sponsored by the English-speaking Union of the United States. If he's able to win the regional on Sunday, Nikos would advance to the Nationals held at Lincoln Center in New York City. Nikos will be performing at Soliloquy from Macbeth. If you see Nikos today, wish him good luck. Tonight, Film Club is having a free screening of the Hitchcock classic film Vertigo. Sorry if I said that wrong. Vertigo? This 1958 movie was nominated for two Oscars and stars Jimmy Stewart and Kim Novak. 
Vertigo was directed by Alfred Hitchcock and is consistently rated one of the best suspense movies of all time. Come to the Little Theater tonight at 7 p.m. Admission and refreshments are free, and there will be a discussion afterward. Free movie, free refreshments. Cool. Now that the second semester is underway, Mr. DeCesar's TV production class is learning to use the TV studio and control room. This morning, they recorded a segment for the first time. It's called the Five Question Segment, and sophomore Jackie Thomas was the chosen one. Let's take a look at the piece that Mr. DeCesar's class developed. Roll the clip, Dave. Hi, I'm Jackie, and welcome to the Five Question Segment. Question one. If you were to go diving in an ocean, which of the world's ocean would you dive in, and what animal would you be looking for? Um, I don't really care about the oceans that much, so I'm just going to say the Pacific Ocean. And I would look for um, a shark. I don't know. <laughs> Question two. If you could be on any TV show, which one would it be? I would be on Friends, because that's like my favorite show right now. And I would do Friends because like it's really cute because of the relationships. Question three. Is $1.50 for 10 chicken nuggets from Burger King a great deal? Um, I, don't, I don't really eat Burger King, so I, I guess. Uh, no, no, that's not a great deal, actually. No, that's too expensive. Question four. Favorite type of Pokemon? Fire, water, grass, rock, etc. I'm going to say fire because... You can burn people. And question five, would you rather have legs as long as your fingers or have fingers as long as your legs? I would rather have legs as long as my fingers because then that would be funny because I'd be really, really short. So yeah. Thanks, Jackie. That was entertaining. If you have questions or feedback you want answered, please tweet anything to hashtag NiskiUs. The, product, the TV production class will try to use your suggestions. Again, send your tweets to hashtag Nisky News. And finally, the weather this weekend looks nice with highs in the mid-30s with a bit of warm-up in the next week. And remember, only 14 days until the start of spring. That's all the news we have. Go Warriors!